Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today's Tuesday, July 9th, 2019, and we're so honored to have with us in the studio as cities burn. It's alright 
there is a God and he must be asleep. God must be asleep. God must be asleep. God must be asleep.
Women, you can go ahead and take your post when you're ready. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and playing for us. You can retune, flip around your guitars, do whatever thing. Uh, I'll do my one gushing moment, which is that Heller High Water is one of my favorite records of all time. So thank you very much for uh, being here personally for me, not only for the fans and all that shit. Um, yeah, just to do the formal thing first, uh, would you just kind of tell me what the impetus for the return and touring again, playing shows more actively because it's been a few years is? Definitely, yeah. Um, I moved to Nashville a couple years ago. If you don't know about the band, I was on the first record, uh, Scream, yeah. or, uh, Son of Loved You at Your Darkest. Uh, and then I quit and left. Um, and then if somebody would ever ask us if we thought we would record another record with me, we would have probably thought you were pretty crazy. Yeah. But uh, life's a crazy thing. And I moved to Nashville a couple years ago, and we just started talking about recording new music. And uh, here we are today. And you said that you don't think about it, I mean, not differently, but like there isn't a new kind of goal. It's just like keep playing shows exactly. and keep writing great music. Right. Great. Take it a day at a time. What about like old songs? Do you think about those differently or like are there ones, I mean, because the last three were old songs. I mean, are there ones that maybe don't fit in like, I don't know, this version of the band now or like that are kind of off limits or? It's actually kind of cool because we have 40 songs now to yeah. choose from. And yeah. I'm one of the, probably biggest as cities burn fan after okay. i left like i was pretty stoked on both of the other records uh so it's cool to hear that very close and and be a part of that uh and now there's not any songs that are off limits uh, sure. i mean we we understand that people want to hear those too and we still like playing them so yeah uh, it's kind of fun to choose from 40 songs now yeah that is that is amazing and then like just fit them in and out depending on maybe the night or sure. what you're feeling or Definitely. that kind of thing yeah, yeah depending on what tour it is if we're headlining or supporting yeah whatever uh regarding like the themes on the record there's some stuff about technology and isolation and and, and that kind of stuff would you just talk a little bit more about your interest in that does black mirror scare you or is it something that <laughs> you're show? interested in yeah, yeah the show sure, yeah. yeah that's your freaks the, uh, uh, I, uh, yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> for sure um i feel like it's weird that um it's so easy to be in touch with people but it seems that I feel a little more isolated yeah. now. Maybe it's uh, that I don't think people are designed to really compare themselves so much, but there's nothing but comparison. Yes, right. You know, um, like just at your fingertips going through your feed, you know. Um, so it's just kind of like, has it gotten out of hand yet? That's kind of the, uh, the, the question lines you're in, asking. Uh, yeah, in uh, 2020. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, I read a book um, that Aziz Ansari wrote, it's called Modern Romance, and it just talks about like how uh, relationships have evolved over time, and they're talking about Tinder and that kind of thing, but he has this whole uh, analysis of, he talks about like your phone world, and mm -hmm. that it's really difficult not to prefer your phone world, because in your phone world are all your friends, past, present, future, and imaginary, but in your real life are only the people that are like right here, mm -hmm. and there is an interesting sense of like isolation, separateness, and depression that comes yeah. with that, like hey, everyone's better, everyone's having a better time than me. How do you, you guys, maybe anyone that wants to share, like how do you step out of that, or how do you make, I don't know, steps to care more about the actual space you're in now? Um, Even simple things? Well, the song we're playing next kind of speaks to that uh, hollowed out on the record, on the new record. It, uh, it's about, like, um, going down, a, like, a path in your own mind where you're, like, pushing everyone else out because you're afraid of intimacy or you feel that you've compared yourself to everyone around you and you're coming up short, so you're ashamed. So you end up in this room isolated by yourself and um, the bridge of the song is like, um, if you find you always do gravitate to isolation, move into this empty room next to mine and we'll scream through the walls. And that's where we get our album title from. Mm -hmm. But like the meaning of that part is just like, you know, if you're gonna isolate yourself, maybe you can be in the room next door and we can, in our isolation, connect again and start mm -hmm. from there. Um, I don't, I don't know what, what else other than like, I, I once had a, a 10 minute timer on Instagram that would remind me as I'm going through my feed. Yeah, so to, I, to get off minutes, it. I'm like, yes. it's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, you can For do a you can do so much in such a short time. <laughs> and I think that they are made they're made to be so easy to fall into. I've a one and a half year old. And we try and keep the phone away from him like as much as possible. But he already knows how to unlock it and how to open <laughs> shit. I don't even use Twitter, but I have Twitter on my phone. And he opened Twitter and was like scrolling through Writing something. Stuff yeah, on yeah, your yeah, yeah, tweeting. <laughs> it's enemy. He like no, I mean he doesn't know how to text, but he'll like push the button. I think they're made for children. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Finley, uh, if my daughter... Finley, if you're watching, you need to put down your iPad <laughs> after this for the rest of the day. This was your only ad iPad time these 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, thanks again so much for coming out. You can go into your uh, last set. Yeah.
from the center of how you see it You won't know you're standing still cities burn man there's this guitar tone that you guys do so well that's so fucking like sinister that <laughs> comes up in that song it's like the scenes in uh uh spider verse where the prowler chases the kid i don't know if you've seen that movie anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much for thank performing you, yeah um they're on tour right now with all get out and many rooms both audio trade alum woo woo and a uh, new album scream through the walls is out now which you can get uh they're also vip tickets at this show so we can hang with the band talk with them play a couple songs exclusive stuff blah blah get those Thank you again. Thanks Thank to you awesome so people in the studio and sound engineers for hooking it up, camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful, and viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?